Today, we're putting Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge to the test. Hi there, I'm Parajetta, and every week I'm bringing you a new nerdy crafting video. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss out on any new projects. This Dishwasher Safe Mod Pod formula could be a game changer, but does it actually work? Today we're going to be testing out how it fares on ceramic and glass mugs and are running it through the dishwasher to see how it works. I'll be trying out five different methods that you could use to decorate your mug. First I'll be doing Cricut vinyl transfer, then we'll do kind of a printed out collage from an inkjet printer, then we'll try acrylic paint, tissue paper, and last but not least, glitter. Here's hoping this does not ruin my dishwasher. Okay, let's give it a try. First things first, let's read those directions. Use on surfaces that are top rack dishwasher safe, which our mugs are. Dries to hard finish, no tack. Cure for 28 days? What? Okay, well, uh, that's longer than expected. I really thought I'd be able to do this overnight, but <laughs> I guess we'll be waiting 28 days for this. Now that we know that, <laughs> do not shake, roll bottle on table to mix. Well, you should put that before you throw in the bombshell of 28 days because I'm pretty sure that I shook this bottle in my just like baffled state. Note to self, Read the directions when you buy the product. Add two to three top coats, allowing one to two hours to dry between coats. Clean up tools while wet with soap and water. Store at room temperature. So basically, we just want to make sure that all of our stuff is covered in the Mod Podge. Let it dry one to two hours and do about three coats. Um, so there's going to be a lot of time involved in this. So if you have a project that you need to get done fast, this is not the way to do it. Knowing that now, I am going to start putting our mugs together so that we can wait. The first mug, we're going to be trying our Cricut Vinyl Transfer. I've got a glass mug because I thought this would work not only for a mug, but it could be something to try like on a wine glass or something like that. And I have my vinyl transfer right here. So let's put this baby on. So we have our vinyl transfer on and normally you can't put this in the dishwasher because it will just come right off. All the stickiness will just come apart. On the directions it did say to use a soft bristle brush, but what I always notice is that with Mod Podge, if you use a brush, it puts streaks in it. So I'm going to use this little foamy do. Hopefully that will help with the streakiness, especially on glass. I'm just going to put it over the top get a good coat going on there. What I can see right now is that I can still see some streaks coming through. They said try not to get it in any place where you your mouth would be touching because it's not technically food safe even though it is it's not approved by the FDA for food safe so just be wary of that it's kind of up to you what you want for one of the mugs I'm gonna have to just ignore that and just for testing purposes uh, just ignore that rule so we have our fully covered one coat mug so I'm just gonna set this aside to dry next is going to be a pretty fun one. I'm excited for this. So I wanted to do like a collage where I printed out some uh, pictures and made it kind of a collage mug. You can do this with pretty much anything, but I decided to go with the Winter Soldier because who doesn't want a Winter Soldier mug? Like, uh, hello? So I'm gonna cut these out and I'm gonna Mod Podge them onto this plain white mug, just your regular old plain white mug. Now that we got them all cut out, I've got all my winter soldiers, we're just going to Mod Podge these babies on. So the direction said to put it on the backside and over the top. So um, just to do both. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm just going to place these on. And I'm not gonna do this like in the most like fancy way. <laughs> I'm just going to put it on just for testing purposes. So it won't be like the best looking mug in the world, but we'll have some Winter Soldier to go off of here. I'm just gonna 
be putting all the square ones that I had on first and kind of just hodgepodging them in different places and then we'll be putting on the larger ones that I cut out in between to kind of fill in those empty spaces. This is turning out hilarious. I am having so much fun with this. <laughs> I think that that is pretty good. Not too shabby. Okay, so now that we have all of that on, um, I'm just going to put a coat over the top. Obviously, this is the mug that isn't gonna be food safe because it goes right up to the edge of where you would be drinking, so just be wary of that. Um, it's kind of up to you what you want to do with that. You can tell that the Mod Podge is changing colors because of the ink from the paper. So that will be an interesting uh, touch, I suppose. I feel like this option would be good for um, if you had uh, like one family photo that you wanted to put on a mug, you put that like in the middle and then it won't be in the drinking area. So you could do that. I think that's where this method could come in really well. Um, but here we are. So we're just gonna let this dry and see how it does. All right, this is the one I'm the most excited for. I'm gonna be testing out three different things on this mug using just a plain ceramic white mug. I'm gonna be testing out the tissue paper, the glitter, and the acrylic paint. It's gonna be a mod podge of different things, how fitting. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna do the tissue paper. I have some really cute pink tissue paper that I'm just gonna put along the bottom of the mug and I think that will look really cute. I'm just going to take the tissue paper and rip off different parts. All right, so this one, I'm just gonna do it directly onto the mug because trying to put it on the tissue paper first is going to be a disaster. So I'm just going to put it on the mug and then I'll take a piece of tissue paper and I will just stick that on. And then we'll cut along the edges once we have the ones that we want because there's gonna be some sticking out. Now we can take our scissors and just kind of go around the edges. It's not gonna be perfect, um, but what we can do is bring those edges back over. So now that we've kind of got it stuck around where we want it, it's time to put on a full coat of the Mod Podge. So I have that. I'm gonna let this dry a little bit before we move on to our next step. The next thing we're gonna be trying is our glitter. I have some pink glitter to match our tissue paper and I'm gonna be putting this on the handle to see if it will work as a handle and not rub off. So I think that that's like the most place where um, things could fall off and there's a lot of rubbing. So I think that that will be the best test of our glitter. So. That's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna put a layer of the Mod Podge onto the handle. Now, I know that this is gonna get glitter onto the other parts and I probably should have done this part first, but I wasn't thinking ahead, so it's not gonna be the prettiest of mugs that we've ever made. It'll be a good mug for testing at least. I'm just going to hold my mug and put on some glitter. So as you can see, there's glitter pretty much everywhere. I should have done the dipping technique now that I think about it, but there you go. <laughs> now I'm gonna put on another layer of the Mod Podge so that we can get this fully glittered. And this time I'm gonna do the dipping technique, which I should have done the first time. So I'm just gonna roll. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't exactly the best plan. Now that I have a very mishmash glitter mug, I'm going to see if I can put some more tissue paper on top and maybe that will kind of help even out the glittery parts. Definitely, if I had thought this through, if I was actually making this mug like as a actual project. I would have thought through this stuff a lot more, but 
This is just for fun and for testing and just seeing how this Mod Podge works. That'll just tell you, you know, sometimes a project just like you gotta roll with it and see how it goes. And now we'll know if we ever wanna make a glitter handle, we do the handle first. So here's our disaster mug. So I have this purple acrylic paint and I was gonna do some polka dots on top. So I think I'm gonna do that and then I will probably put some more glitter over the top of it. I'm just gonna put in some purple polka dots. This is gonna be a very weird mug. I didn't intend to go to the edge of this one, but I did. Cool, so we got some of the polka dots on there. So I'm gonna wait for that paint to dry and then I will put on our coat of Mod Podge. Now is the time to Mod Podge over our whole mug. I can kind of tell that it's making the glitter kind of muted. So I'm hoping that that will change after it's dry. Now it's just putting on Coats of Mod Podge. We just wanna build it up so that we can let it cure and just set for the 28 days and it will be the right amount so that we don't wait 28 days and that would be a disaster. I'm gonna put on a coat every two hours and then I'm just gonna let it sit. I have put the final coats on my mugs. I put on three coats and waited two hours between each coat. This is what they look like before waiting for their final curing process. This is the glass mug. Um, I just put on the last coat of this and it's definitely making the glass opaque. So it's you're not gonna get a clear glass by using this. And then here is the Winter Soldier collage. Um, there's definitely a lot of spreading of color from these. Um, so that is definitely something that you'll have to think of um, because the color is going to fade and it's going to show up on the rest of your mug. Like all of this gray in there, it looks really dirty and kind of gross. Um, but I was kind of, uh, not perfect with this just because this is a tester mug and I didn't need it to look super nice But if you are gonna do this I definitely recommend taping off your mug because otherwise you're gonna end up with that grossness I would also recommend taping off your mug as well on all of these um, Just because it was really hard not to get the Mod Podge around the rim um, So if you take some painter's tape and put that around the edge, that'll really stop you from putting stuff where your mouth will be. Um, it was so hard to do that. Now it's our time to wait. I will see you guys 28 days from now. One eternity later. All right, I'm back. It has been 28 days and I am so ready to put my mugs into the dishwasher. I am gonna put them into my dishwasher without any other dishes because I am worried it's gonna mess up my dishwasher and get Mod Podge glue grossness everywhere. So we're putting them in by themselves, which I think will also give it a pretty good test because it will get the majority of the water jets spurting at it. So I think this will be a pretty good test. I'm gonna be putting these on the top rack because they are mugs and that's where they would normally go and I think that it's probably best to put it on the top rack even if it's a bottom rack thing that you've put the Mod Podge on just to be safe. Now that my mugs are in the top rack I'm gonna put in some dishwashing liquid and I'm gonna run this on normal cycle with heated dry because that's normally what I run my dishwasher at um, and I thought that the heated dry would be a good test to see if it could withstand that heated dry. They're all ready to go so let's wash these mugs. It is officially the moment of truth. These have gone through a full cycle and the heated dry. So let's open up this dishwasher to see how they turned out. I'm really hoping it did not glue up my dishwasher. I am so surprised. These look exactly the same as I put them in as. Like, 
exactly like nothing has changed. This Mod Podge has kept these dishwashers safe 100%. Like there's not even a little piece that is sort of wonky or anything. These are dishwasher safe. Even the collage of random paper is still perfectly safe. I really thought that that one was the one that was gonna be all messed up, but it stayed. I would say this is a pretty big success. So let's take a look at each of these individually. So first I'm gonna start with my surprise baby, my winter soldier mug, <laughs> my collage of winter soldiers, the prettiest and ugliest mug that I have ever created. I obviously threw this together very shoddily because I really wanted to give this a good test. I was really worried about these like little edges that um, have popped up over the top. I was worried about the bottom as well. It's sealed. Like, if you run your fingers down it, you can kind of hear that there are some air pockets um, in there, but um, I think that's just because I placed them on there weird with like some wrinkles, and that's just the paper moving around. Like, it's sealed. These haven't changed. Like, there's no wet in indication on any of this. Like, I am... I am so surprised. Next is our glass mug with the vinyl on it. It stayed all waterproof as well. The vinyl stayed on. There is no uh, vinyl sticking up or anything. Um, there's no place where it looks like there was any uh, wet issues or anything like that. Um, so I'd say it definitely worked as far as keeping it waterproof and dishwasher safe. But um, as you can see, our clear glass has become opaque. You can see that there are brush strokes um, on this and you can't see through it and it really has a texture to it, which I'm not a huge fan of. I would really have liked this to work so that I could have a nice clear mug with that vinyl on top. I think perhaps it would work better if I just focused on going around the vinyl, but you would still see an edge to it, which uh, I could take or leave it. I don't think it's something that um, you would be able to sell or anything like that. It would definitely be for at home projects. There are definitely some spots on this where um, the Mod Podge, I didn't let it dry long enough between coats. So there are some really, um, like in these little areas where it tends to pool, um, there are some areas where the Mod Podge didn't go clear and it's white. Um, so that's definitely making sure to keep that one or two hours between coats. It definitely makes a difference. So following the directions in this definitely makes a difference. So I would say make sure you are following those directions. And then the one that I was so worried about messing up my dishwasher is this glitter one. When I first did this, I was really worried that the glitter was gonna become really dull but you can actually see the glitter and it does sparkle and it looks really nice. It is a little bit duller than you would normally expect, but it does get sparkly and so I feel like it's a pretty good use. And y'all know glitter gets everywhere and it kept that glitter on. Like there was no glitter in my dishwasher. Like I looked, I got in there with my phone, <laughs> my phone light looking for glitter. There was none. There was no glitter at all. It stayed on there so well. And this uh, tissue paper, um, it stayed on great. Um, the bottom was did really well. This paint stayed on, the acrylic paint. Uh, it, <laughs> it's fantastic. Like I, I am really blown away at how well this worked. Uh, I mean, for 28 days, I would expect it to work, but I, I was actually really surprised that it did because Mod Podge in itself can get really sloppy, and I think that this is a home run from Mod Podge for sure. It works. It totally works. <laughs> now it's time for the verdict. I'm gonna tell you guys if Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge is worth buying. I'm gonna rate this on a thumbs up, thumbs down basis and kind of go through what I think are the pros and what I think are the cons. So overall, I would give this product an in-between. 
It's not a thumbs down or a thumbs up. It is definitely an in the middle product. It lives up to what it says on the bottle. It is dishwasher safe. If you follow the directions, if you wait the 28 days, it does work. That in of itself is way more than I expected and I'm really happy that it did work. However, it is a Mod Podge and it does have some of the downsides that other Mod Podges do have. You are going to get something textured. It is not gonna be smooth, it is not going to be flat. So if you're using things on glass, things that need to be see-through, you're definitely going to get some sort of an opaqueness. It's going to look like you have glue covering it. So I would say Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe is not the right product for that project. But if you're doing some sort of a collage or you're doing an all over craft, like with the glitter and with the Winter Soldier collage, those are the perfect times to be using Mod Podge because they are already have a texture to them and people won't really know the difference. So if you're trying to make a mug for Mother's Day with cute pictures from your childhood, it would definitely work and your mom would love it. So I would say if you're doing more crafting at home projects, things that you're not going to sell, Mod Podge Dishwasher Safe is perfect. So I'm definitely gonna be using it for other crafts moving forward, especially if I wanna glitterize something that goes in the dishwasher. The other downside to this Mod Podge is that it's not approved food safe. So if you are using it on something that you would be eating off of or drinking out of, like a mug or a plate, you need to put your design and the Mod Podge on things that won't be touching food or your mouth, just to make sure that people aren't getting sick. And why I don't recommend use this product for things that you might sell. The other downside to this Mod Podge, which you guys already know I was gonna say, is that it takes 28 days to cure. That is such a long time. It's an entire month. Like, <laughs> so many things have happened since I made these mugs. And I don't think if you're doing this project with kids that they're gonna wanna wait 28 days to put them in the dishwasher. They'll have forgotten about them by the time that comes around. I hope Mod Podge is reconsidering their formula and trying to get something that would take less days to cure because 28 days is a long time. You guys knew, you were waiting for it. That is the biggest downside to this Mod Podge. But you know, good things come to those who wait. So those are my pros, those are my cons. I would say overall, it's a really good crafting purchase and I'm really excited that Mod Podge came out with this. So I give it an in-between because it worked really well. There are some downsides, but I definitely will be using it again. Have you tried Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge? Let me know down in the comments comments what your experience was. I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this video that would love to see what your experience was with the product. And if you're looking to try out Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge and you still have questions, leave those in the comments below and I will for sure answer them. Click here to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any nerdy crafting videos. And if you're new to my channel, you should click right over here to watch a playlist of some of my favorite videos. I'll see you guys next week for another DIY project where we get crafty and nerd out.